All right, so we have a pretty interesting spec leak for the Nintendo Switch 2, including how much RAM this console will have, how much internal storage it will have, and the likely inclusion of a built-in microphone. This is all coming from a user over on Fami Boards. We'll get into that more in just a second. But before we talk about this, I do want to give a disclaimer here. I am not a tech expert in no way, shape, or form am I a tech expert. I think I'm a little bit more educated than a lot of like people that don't know what they're talking about. But if you want like a deep dive analysis, I'm sure there will be other other youtubers covering it i'm sure digital foundry will do some sort of video where they really break this down probably do a test bench for this thing and see what the switch 2 will likely be able to do and give it some actual tests but i wanted to get my opinions on it just as kind of a casual fan of tech but also as someone very excited for the switch 2 now i made a video about a year ago talking about the switch 2 and how powerful i think it'll be i think it was based on bobby codex remarks during the microsoft activision ftc trial and in that video i was talking about how it sounded like the switch 2 would likely be somewhere slightly above the ps4 in terms of performance and power level but based on these leaks once again correct me if i'm wrong if you are a more technically inclined feel free to correct anything i say in this video but based on this information it sounds like it's a little bit closer to a ps4 pro or even an xbox series s which to me is nothing but a win so like i said this is information coming from a user over on fami boards lic they have a hardware thread on that website where they all kind of just talk and speculate on how powerful the switch 2 will be while also doing a lot of very very impressive digging for more information and over the past few months they have been tracking component shipments from nvidia that is my understanding of the situation and basically they were able to find some very juicy stuff about parts that will almost certainly be used for the switch 2. And based on what we heard back at Gamescom last year, Nintendo was supposedly showing off that Matrix Unreal Engine 5 demo, as well as Breath of the Wild running in 4K to developers. And based on these leaked specs, which we're about to get to, that sounds about right to me. But of course, take everything with a grain of salt. I personally believe this information, but there's always a chance it is inaccurate. So always take this thing with a grain of salt. But let's go ahead and get into the leaked information. The Switch 2 will have 12 gigs of RAM split between two 6 gig 75 MTS LPDDR5 modules, 256 gigs of UFS 3.1 internal storage. And it looks like both the consoles and maybe the Joy-Con will include built-in microphones. Now, the RAM is of course the, the biggest thing here. I know a lot of people we're expecting the switch 2 to have 8 gigs of ddr5 memory it looks like it is going to have 12 gigs of ddr5 memory which is more than i was expecting <laughs> certainly and that is that is a huge upgrade over the current switch for comparison and i know it's not one-to-one -one, i know that's not how tech works but for comparisons just pulled up some different things from different consoles here the current switch has four gigs of ram so this is three times the amount of ram as the original switch it's also better ram and that is ddr5 ram so it's faster the ps4 had eight gigs of ram the ps4 pro had eight gigs with an extra one gig of ddr3 for background tasks like the os and all that the series s has 10 gigs of ram and the ps5 and series x have 16 gigs of ram so 12 gigs of ram is putting the switch above the series s but below the ps5 and series x which honestly if it is if this thing is more powerful than the series f if that ends up being true i think that is the best case scenario for a nintendo console that will be reasonably priced and in terms of an, a huge upgrade over the current switch like i think i think that is a very that is very promising in my opinion I get comments very often saying that a handheld with the power of the PS4 just isn't enough. It'll be outdated too fast. PS5 Pro is coming out soon. Xbox is releasing a new console soon. But here's my counterpoint to that. It is 2024. Look at Infinite Wealth. Yakuza Infinite Wealth. This is a game that released in 2024. Look at Persona 3 Reload and the upcoming Metaphor Re Fantasio from Atlas. Look at Resident Evil 4 Remake. My point here isn't that these games look astonishing. They certainly look much better than anything on Switch for the most part. My point is that these are all games that are still being developed with the PS4 in mind. Call of Duty still comes to the PS4. Developers have not moved on, at least not most Japanese developers anyway. And if the Switch 2 is more powerful than at least the base PS4, which it sounds like it is, there should be no reason for almost any major third-party game to skip on releasing their games for Switch 2. That's my take. I'm sure there will always be exceptions, the big one being GTA 6. Will GTA 6 come to Switch 2? I don't know. I personally think there's a good chance it does. Maybe it won't be at launch, maybe it'll be later, but if we can get Call of Duty, which we know we're getting on the Switch 2, Activision and Nintendo and Microsoft already signed a 10-year binding deal to bring Call of Duty to Nintendo platforms, if we can get Call of Duty, if we can get stuff from Capcom that looks and runs as good as a Resident Evil 4 remake, which we will be able to, that 
is very impressive to me as someone who plays on switch but also plays on ps5 a handheld that is capable of doing that is very very exciting in particular i'm just very excited to see nintendo take advantage of hardware this powerful specifically their epd studios but even more specifically than that monolith soft monolith soft and retro studios to be fair are nintendo's showpiece studios they are so clearly ahead of the curve when it comes to technical prowess and getting impressive games running on very weak hardware i know xenoblade 3 runs at like what 540p in handheld mode but they do a lot of really interesting stuff with dynamic resolution in that game and for a console that will almost certainly have dlss with the t239 chip from nvidia i'm just so excited to see nintendo studios take advantage of this hardware nintendo is so good at taking advantage of their own hardware some of the games released on switch don't feel like they should be able to run on the nintendo switch even tears of the kingdom yeah a lot of the texture work may be a little bit you know not that impressive but the fact that they got that world running on a console with four gigs of ram is very very impressive and i just want to circle back to what i was saying earlier about how developers haven't really moved on from ps4 i know that's about to be not true to be fair like pretty soon we are going to see mostly games releasing on ps5 and series x but once again for a console that will certainly be getting call of duty i just feel like in terms of downscaling a game from ps5 pro spec to the switch 2 that's going to be a way simpler process than getting a game from ps4 pro down to switch you know what i mean like in my opinion games haven't really evolved that much in terms of graphic fidelity yes i understand like when i look at god of war ragnarok on ps5 versus god of war 2018 yes it looks nicer it does look nicer but also look how good god of war looks on ps4 base ps4 it looks freaking incredible so i feel like you know we're at a point with diminishing returns when it comes to specs and uh you know graphic fidelity i just feel like it's going to be a lot simpler for ps5 games and even games that were spec for ps5 pro like gta 6 likely is i feel like it's just going to be easier for those developers to downscale to a system that is seemingly as powerful as the switch 2 is but that is my take let me know if you think i'm wrong in the comments down below but i think that's personally pretty good now there were some other interesting things in this the other very notable thing being the 256 gigs of internal storage that seems fine to me i did see someone else suggest that the switch 2 might be using sd express as opposed to micro sd cards which are a bit more expensive that's a little disappointing um or maybe it's not i don't know how much better sd express is frankly i'm not i don't really know what sd express even is but storage just keeps getting cheaper and cheaper to the point where i feel like this is kind of a non-issue 256 gigs is enough to install call of duty and frankly i wouldn't be surprised if that's half the reason nintendo is putting that much in this thing i mean keep in mind this current switch has 32 gigs of internal storage the switch oled is 64 but 256 is once again another huge leap plus when we inevitably get a switch 2 oled or switch 2 pro in you know four or five years they'll likely double it to 512 at that point in time like they did with the oled so i don't really see that being an issue hopefully third party developers get a little bit better about compression looking at you activision but either way 256 gigs of internal storage with expandable storage through micro sd or even sd express that seems fine to me and then finally this last point here microphones in the console and potentially even the joy con my gut reaction was oh nintendo's gonna do a lot of weird gimmick microphone stuff but the more i think about it the more i think this might actually be and i know this sounds crazy for nintendo i think this might primarily be for voice chat once again, we know Call of Duty is coming, and while I'm sure Nintendo will do some goofy WarioWare game that uses the mic or something, including a built-in mic just feels like the right call here in my opinion. PlayStation did it with the DualSense after all, so it just feels... I don't know it just feels kind of right i also wanted to show this real quick before i end off the video here so uh, this is a tweet from central leaks but it is from a user mj or on family boards this is a size comparison based on the leak components and the um, speculated components for the switch 2. this is a size comparison of the switch oled with what the switch 2 will be and the steam deck so it actually is quite a bit bigger than the original switch or the switch oled i mean those are the same size but it's quite a bit bigger i am surprised by this i will be honest i thought they would try to keep a similar form factor however i guess that thought process was mostly before we heard about the magnetic joy con rails and, and all that stuff or the lack thereof railing in general because i thought for sure nintendo would make joy con backwards compatible but if they're not doing that if they're doing this new magnetic stuff and they're making entirely new joy con that you pretty much have to use on this console i guess it makes sense to just make it bigger right <laughs> I know a lot of people are hesitant when it comes to handhelds getting bigger and bigger. 
I personally don't take my Switch on the go very often. I do play it in handheld quite a bit, but that's mostly just for playing in other rooms. I personally love the PlayStation Portal. I play on that thing so, so much. Final Fantasy XIV in bed while watching TV. Beautiful, perfect, best case scenario. Um, so I'm fine with a big handheld. I just hope it's comfier than the current Switch. I hope there's maybe some sort of grip or something on the Joy-Con just to make it feel a little bit nicer in your hands. Um, but let me know your thoughts. Are you okay with it being this much bigger if it does end up being this much bigger? Once again, take all of this stuff with a grain of salt. I would say it's pretty reliable information, but obviously nothing's official until Nintendo says it or until we get the console in our hands and do a breakdown. So let me know your thoughts. Are you okay with the size of this thing? Are you okay with the specs? Are you okay with the internal storage? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, subscribe here for more Nintendo Switch news, reviews, coverage, all of that fun stuff. Follow me on Twitter at BotoxGames. And until next time, folks, peace.